Hi everyone, thanks so much for stopping by and checking out my channel today, No Lane Restrictions. I really appreciate your time. Today I'm bringing you uh, the second part in my five-part Barago Diecast Car Model Collection series. If you haven't already, I urge you to check out part one, and you can find the link to that in the description below. So now I'm going to turn on the turntable and give you guys your 360 degree view. And uh, in a moment, we'll chat more about the vehicle. So this is another really special model in my collection. It's the sibling to the previous uh, video that I did with the Ferrari F40 as it was given to me um, at the same time. So I always keep these two models together in the collection and uh, they're really nice counterparts to each other especially since they're both of the same scale they're both 1 18th scale. They're both in that Ferrari red and uh, they're stunning as uh, you know parked next to each other in the in the collection. So a little bit of information about this particular vehicle. It's a 1962 Ferrari 250 GTO. Um, it is a single overhead cam, 3 liter dry sumped V12. And you can just see that seated quite low in the engine bay. It looks absolutely glorious. I really like all the chrome bits to this model because it, uh, it really pops with the red and the black color schemes going on elsewhere. Some trivia about the car itself. Um, in January 1962, this was actually the only front engine model on display um, from Ferrari at the time, which I think is really interesting. Um, and this particular car was developed to take on um, the famous Jaguar E-Type throughout its racing um, racing days. So any car model that has some racing pedigree attached to it just gives it something extra and I feel very privileged to have this one in my collection. Just like you have seen or hopefully will see um, with the uh, Ferrari F40 um, this one also has some some small chips and scratches um, but again it just it just tells a story about this model's life um, from whoever or wherever it was and uh, I really appreciate that and it's special just the way it is to me so there's a lot of really nice aspects to this model um, the first thing that always catches my eye are those wire spoke wheels um, again just because they have that really nice shining chrome finish um, and although those rims in real life are an absolutely absolute pain to clean, they are so iconic and so beautiful. Whenever I go to uh, British car shows, uh, it's always a pleasure to see an E-Type Jag with those uh, wire wheels. And not only do does this car have you know the wire wheels on all four tires. Um, on the vehicle, but it's also on the spare as well in the trunk. So that's really interesting. So I'll stop the turntable and we'll just have a closer look at a few things. So in the front of this car, um, you're going to see those iconic three air intakes there. I love the smooth sculpting to those front arches over the front tires there. And, and again, just the whole how the you know the housing of the headlight and the cover and it's all incorporated into that sculpt which i just think makes this car so beautiful the lines and everything of this model i just love how it gets so low at the front and it's quite long of course you know to accommodate that v12 and then the rear end is, is so stubby and wide 
and you have that really nice high rear wheel arch there and uh, the vent at the back behind the rear tire it's just gorgeous having this model in that Ferrari red is a beautiful thing of course and if you notice I've left all the um, covers open because for this particular model they're a little bit tricky to open up for the first time so I thought I'd just do it off camera um, so there you can see uh, like I said before that V12 with the chrome finish and the interior there because this is a really full-fledged race car uh, of course Ferrari didn't put in the carpet or anything that they would on a, a road going car and I like that it's a neat, it's a really nice touch and I'm glad that they um, portrayed it accurately in this model and you can see an amazing shifter and those really low bucket seats there is the uh, spare tire there in the trunk full spare with the wire rims like I already said and I really love this this whole um, oval shape of the back here um, with those really hefty exhaust tips. It's so different than anything that we, of course, have on the street today. And uh, it's one of the most beautiful Ferraris, in my opinion. So another little styling thing about this model that I appreciate is if you see this rear trunk lid here, there's actually a little cutout and when you close the trunk it accommodates the uh, fuel filler cap there. I think that looks really cool. It's just a, it's just an interesting touch. And you can see the uh, interior through the back window and it's such a steep slope. It's so raked back and it just gives it that sporty look. You can see the Ferrari three-spoke steering wheel there with the uh, prancing horse. But I just absolutely love these tires and rims. It's so special. Let's see, these doors are a little stiffer than my other models but I will open up the driver's door here for you. Give a bit more access inside. And there you can see those gigantic circular gauges. And of course, in uh, Barago fashion, it's, it's going to be a decal, but it's very well done, and it, it does really give the illusion of being actual dials. There's a lot of little chrome bits in the interior um, like I think the, you know the shift knob, the handbrake there um, the gauges on the dash it's really nice this is actually this piece right here is a fastener for the engine cover and what you would actually do is you can swing it over and then it locks into this little hole here and there is supposed to be a one on the other side but somewhere along its life it's gone missing it has such a nice uh, look about it you know that bulge there in the hood it's a beautiful car And these cars uh, in real life are going for millions of dollars now. I can't imagine uh, owning one. It would be an enormous responsibility, that's for sure. So that's why we have lovely models like this. And we can enjoy them and look at them without all that added hassle of real life ownership. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to close these doors now, 
and uh, there's little door handles that you'll notice as well that actually spin to look like they're real handles. Yeah, these doors are really stiff. I don't know if they've really been opened a lot throughout its life. I know I can get them closed a bit tighter, um, but it's just a bit tricky on this turntable right now. So there you have it. I'm going to turn this turntable back on to give you a, another look around with everything closed. Thanks so much for checking this video out. Please stay tuned for um, the other parts of this Virago diecast model series. I'll be putting those videos up shortly. I wish everyone a fantastic day. Please subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you uh, in my future videos. Thanks, everyone. Cheers.